Okay, I believe we're, we're going to continue our discussion shortly, but we've got someone to join us here. How are you? Are you, are you okay? Good to see you. Mason, how are you? Okay, mate? What place? You're all right, right Paul. Just watch You're the right. cables right there. If you want to step between Leon and myself, yeah. we do have a microphone for you here. <laughs> Whatever you want, mate. <laughs> no, 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 relax. How are you feeling so far? I mean, do you feel that victory was snatched away from you right at the death? It's a tough one. I think it's a goal. At real time, I didn't think it was, but I didn't see the deflection, so I think it's a goal. But if you look the other way, Jordan's made an unbelievable save, so it's... I think it'd be difficult to say we deserve to win, but I definitely do think that were a goal, watching it back. Because we could see how mad your manager was. He got a red card right there at the end. Yeah, I missed it, but he obviously watched it back on the bench. At the time, I didn't celebrate. I thought it was. I thought straight away. But the deflection means the gay's gone already the other way. Um, I he saw didn't him, touch anybody. I saw yeah. him stop. It hit Maguire. Yeah, I did, it hit yeah, Maguire, so after, but it didn't hit anybody else. No, yeah, I didn't see it hit Maguire. So I thought that the step was because he thought Guilfu was in the way. But because it's hit Maguire... I didn't see that, but once I've seen it, he's, the gay's gone, so it's irrelevant. Like, Gilfie has been there. If he's, Gilfie's there or not, he's still going in. So I think when people watch it back, and maybe in real time, I understand the decision if you give, but watching it back, I don't understand how you can really miss it. Any questions, Jones? Uh, how good was it to have Andre Gomez back <coughs> in the side? You know, we know he's, what he's been through injury-wise, to have him back there out on the field. Was that uh, good to have him in the team? Yeah, you see, you can see Andre's class... Um, he surprised, I think he's surprised. Well, he's definitely surprised me. Um, just how fast he's come back. Not only just come back, but like, looks like he's not been away. It flies into things and stuff like that. And when a, with an injury like that, you see people often change a little bit of the game. But he's come back, and last two games that he's he's played, he's made a big difference to us. So it makes us a better team with him. You, you personally are having a really good run in the side of them in a good form. Um, having been out on loan last season, come back and, and basically staked your name on the team sheet every week. What's changed? Did you do anything different when you came back? What's changed for you this season? No, I just think the experience of playing every week's helped me out a lot. I think before I was a bit un inconsistent with my performances, and I knew that more than anybody. I didn't need didn't need telling, but I feel like once once I went out and played every week and got used to playing, and not knew that I was going to be playing every week, but knowing knowing that like if I was fit and I was doing okay, then I'd be playing. It took a lot of pressure off of me. And I think since I've come back, I've kind of kept that main mindset, and I think it's helped me out a lot. Brucey? Yeah, obviously the Man United strikers, you they went to go wide in the yeah. second half, and particularly you just found that difficult to play against? Um, yeah, definitely, because I think Fernandes were coming in the hole, yeah. which was their game plan to try and drag me and Michael out for the two yeah. to come in this way. So that definitely made it a lot harder for us, because they want really anybody for us to pick up, because yeah. we were on the two fullbacks. But I think we dealt with it quite well. Um, they didn't they, that one at the end and the goal. Apart from that, I didn't feel like we were under a lot of sustained pressure. They had a lot of the ball, but they didn't really, I didn't really feel like they were going to break us down or anything like that. So I was quite happy with it. No, you did well. We got some big matches for you. Obviously, it's Chelsea next, and then you got the Merseyside derby, etc. We don't know what the punishment's going to be for your manager. You're going to miss having him here, touchline, if he is banned. As a yeah, presence. Obvi obviously, he's the, he's the manager, but. Um, I think he'll get. It doesn't change anything through the week. We'll still do the same preparations, and um, the rest of the backroom staff are more than capable. I'm pretty sure. So it's not going to affect us too too massively because he'll still get everything that he wants us to do across and things like that. What's the aim for now until the end of the season? Are you looking at Europe? Are you looking just towards the next game? Have you have you set yourself a target? Well, the start of the season we want a Europe, so I don't think that can really change. Well, it's still a possibility. I think we're more than capable of putting a run of results together. Um, and that's what we need to be doing. I think last week we all understood. We played well when we had the ball, but you can't concede three goals away and expect to win games. And that's what we did. But this week, I think we're a lot more solid. We got back together. And um, I think we've got to be going for Europe. I don't, I don't see why we can't. All right, any final questions, gents? No, good. No, no, good. All right, perfect. No, Thank you, mate. Really Thank appreciate you, you taking the time. Well done, good well, done, mate. Nice. well done, mate. Well done. All the best. See you next time. Nice see you. Just going to pass this back over here. Seems very honest. Seems there. Yeah, very and it was, a, it was a good appraisal, you know, to, to say that they played well last week at, at Arsenal, yet you can't expect to win a game conceding three goals, that they were determined to, to make sure that wasn't the case today. And, you know, that also that, that they would have you know, not necessarily felt that they deserved a victory today, but it was a good, tough, hard game. So, very honest, and his, his performances have been just as honest as well recently. Yeah, very true. And it's not easy, is it? I mean, they do make a lot of changes like we touched on before. Uh, they haven't got a settled back four. There seems to be a different central defensive partnership uh, all the time for Everton. So they do well to come in and just 
pick up the reins and, and get a good result like they have today.